Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today we are going to be discussing and explaining the tactical evolution of Muhammad Salah. Throughout the video, we will check Salah's stats at each club, and then analyze his playstyle and positions from different matches. Well, I really know that I don't need to tell you who Muhammad Salah is, but for the sake of the video, let's start off by giving you a little intro about him. Salah is a 27 years old Egyptian footballer who is currently playing for Liverpool. He played for a total of 6 different clubs in his career so far. These 6 clubs are Al Mukawiloun, Basel, Chelsea, Fiorentina, Roma, and Liverpool. So, with that being said, let's start discussing the evolution of his playstyle throughout these years. Let me tell you something you probably wouldn't know. When Salah was 14 years old, he played as a left back. As his coach at Al Mukawiloun youth team Hamdi Nuh explained, that Salah played as a left back as he was physically strong and was very good regarding the defensive coverage in addition to his speed which he used to advance from the left flank so apparently the left back was his first ever position let's check his stats in the three seasons that he played with Al Mukawiloun so in the 2009-2010 season he played 46 minutes only making three appearances in the next season he played 20 games scored four goals and assisted once he completed 1,256 minutes on the pitch. During his last season at al he played 15 games only since the league wasn't completed and the remaining matches were cancelled by the Egyptian Football Association. During that 15 games, he scored 7 goals and assisted 3. He completed 1,318 minutes on the pitch. Now let's start analyzing his play style during these seasons. Since I couldn't find many clips to analyze, let's get to know some of his traits back then while analyzing some of his goals. So the first thing to notice about any under-19 player in such situation is his confidence and will to move forward and score goals. Although he was under pressure, he dribbled through, kept possession and continued to move forward. Just after dribbling past the last defender, he goes with an outside of the foot finish, no extra touches. Here you can see his usual run behind the defensive line. The important thing about his style back then, he always tried to finish in a different way, making him very difficult to predict goes for the near post here. Although he always scored with his left foot, and that's what he was criticized for, not using his weak foot, he still used various finishing techniques. And here with another finishing technique after running behind the defensive line, he scores from the first touch half volley. And here you can see his famous finish shot. Notice how calm he is inside the penalty area. After dribbling through, he takes his full time, took three more steps here to make his finish as easy as possible. So, as a conclusion for this part of his career, let's sum up some stats. Salah played a total of 44 games with Al Mukawiloun in the Egyptian League and Cup, scored 12 goals and assisted 6. Regarding positions, he played mainly as a right winger, but played once as a left winger and played once as a striker. What can you get out of his play style? Well, he is a pacey forward who can finish from different scenarios, he doesn't score with his weak foot, and he goes for dribbles over passes in the final third. Now moving to another chapter of his career. On April 2012, Basel announced the signing of Salah. Salah stayed a season and a half only with Basel, but he started improving tactically during this period. Salah played 29 games in his debut season in the league. He scored 5 goals and assisted 4. During the second season, he played 18 games, scored 4 goals and assisted 5. Now let's analyze his playstyle and roles during this period. Salah played as the wide player in Basel's 4-3-3, 4-2-3-1 or 4-4-2. During that period, with the 4-4-2, he played 4 times as a striker. His finishing wasn't developed enough, so he played the most of his games as the wide player, mainly on the right side. Salah had to adapt his passing and defending skills, and that's where his first tactical change happened. He was always asked to cover the fullback during the defensive phase. During his first season, he completed an average of 0.6 tackles per game, but that wasn't enough for the new manager. In the next season, 
Salah was given more defensive responsibilities. He completed an average of 1.8 tackles per game. During this season with Liverpool, Salah has an average of 0.5 tackles only per game. So you can see the difference as clubs stopped giving Salah defensive responsibilities. Back to Basel. During his first season, Marco Steller was the main goal scorer of the team. He finished that season with 14 goals scored. Heiko Vogel, Basel's manager during that season, gave clear playmaker responsibilities to the left midfielder Valentin Stocker, who finished that season with 17 assists, but he couldn't find the same playmaker traits in Mohamed Salah, as he finished the season with 4 assists only. Salah had an average of 1.7 shots per game during that season, compared to his 4.5 shots per game in this season's Champions League. At Basel, he wasn't given the roles to play inside the penalty box. Let's now move to some in-game analysis at Basel. Notice how he always seemed to drop to the midfield to get the ball. So, as you just saw, he was very good at getting the ball out from the midfield and moving forward with it. But his final product never met the quality of that. Again, finding and creating spaces for himself, but missing the final product. When playing as the right midfielder, he had a lot of linking roles in the midfield. The noticeable thing about him is that he stayed just as calm as he was in Al-Muqawilun during any 1v1s with the keeper. So we are back to the conclusion part. Salah played a total of 80 games with Basel in all competitions. He scored 20 and assisted 17 goals. He played mainly on the right side. But he played 7 times as a left winger and 4 times as a striker. He is very good at finding spaces, asking for the ball in the midfield and getting up with it. And he does his defensive roles pretty well. But Salah was always criticized at that time for his poor final product in many occasions, whether for passes in the final third or finishing. Also, he still never depended on his weak foot. After his performances against Chelsea, Mourinho decided to sign him in January 2014. Salah stayed one year only at Chelsea. He continued the 13-14 season and played the first half of the 14-15 season before he was loaned to Fiorentina. While starting to adapt to a whole new league and a different environment, the media seemed to mention that Salah's transfer was a flop. The 21 years old played 10 games in his debut season in the Premier League. He scored 2 goals and assisted twice. Now let's analyze his roles and play style under Mourinho. Salah kinda kept the same rate going as he scored twice and assisted twice too in his first 10 league games for Basel. But Mourinho started giving him different roles. He started giving him some playmaker responsibilities and positioned him as an attacking midfielder in some matches. Here came the huge evolution in Salah's vision and passing abilities. Here also came the huge evolution in Salah's physical strength as he started playing in the Premier League. Mourinho was able to get the best out of Salah's pace, since he wasn't really known and in most games came on as a sub. He was always very calm in these 1v1s, but as long as he can finish with his left. You can see how Mourinho started giving him more midfield roles. This was the reason behind the huge improvements in his vision and passing, which he was kind of lacking in Basel. This helped him improve the team's counterattacks when depending on such a pacey winger like him. But the final product remained a problem. His pace started grabbing everyone's attention.
so finding spaces and finishing from different situations with his left foot was never a problem and that's how he scored his goals at Chelsea. To sum up his career at Chelsea, Salah played a total of 19 games, scored 2 goals and assisted 4. He started playing for the first time in his career as an attacking midfielder, but he was mainly a winger. His poor final products became obvious to everyone. Although his pace and ability to create spaces were on top, he was criticized for his finishing abilities, especially with his right foot. So he was loaned to Fiorentina in the 2nd of February 2015. His loan remained till the end of the 15-16 season. Now Salah needed to adapt one more time to a new environment and a totally different league and play style. He scored 4 goals and assisted once during the first 10 league games with Fiorentina. His position wasn't set yet. Vincenzo Montella, Fiorentina's manager at that time, tried Salah as a right winger, a left winger and as an attacking midfielder during his first 3 league games with Fiorentina. His finishing with his weak foot improved, and he always ended his high work rate and pace with better final products. Now let's analyze his play style and roles at Fiorentina. Montella played Salah as a striker as well as an attacking midfielder during some matches which helped him improve his positioning between the lines as well as his ball control under pressure. He also developed his off the ball movement. He concentrated on providing a passing option whenever he passes the ball to a teammate. His pace, ability to find space and counter attacks became a huge problem to any team playing against him. He showed huge improvements with his weak foot and managed to score some goals with it. Montella reduced the defensive responsibilities given to Salah and allowed him to concentrate on his attacking roles. He played Salah in every attacking position to determine his best position. By playing in different attacking positions, Salah adapted his finishing with his weak foot and also improved his passes in the attacking third. Salah played a total of 26 games with Fiorentina in all competitions. He scored 9 goals and assisted 4. He played in every attacking position. He showed huge improvements regarding his weak foot and improved his ball control and dribbling abilities. He also worked hard on improving his final product. He had an average of 1.9 key passes per game compared to his 0.3 with Chelsea. When his loan to Fiorentina expired, Chelsea loaned him to Roma before making the transfer permanent. Salah stayed at Roma for two seasons only. For the first time ever, he didn't have to adapt to a new environment or a new league. This boosted his development and he became one of the best players in the Serie A. Salah always had a good start with every team he played for. He scored 5 goals in his first 10 league games with Roma. His finesse shot goals became a trademark, so his position was set. He played as a right winger, although he played some games as an attacking midfielder. He played under two different managers in these two seasons, Rudy Garcia, Roma's manager in the 15-16 season continued to try him in different attacking positions, but the main position was the right winger. Anyway, Salah showed a huge evolution under Luciano Spalletti. Salah finished the 16-17 season with 15 goals and 13 assists. Spalletti worked on improving his vision, passing, dribbling and finishing abilities. After Salah joined Liverpool and showed great performances, Spalletti said in an interview that he asked Salah to play central for a whole season, but Salah liked to play wide. Although he stayed as a winger, Spalletti managed to show the world a whole new Salah a goal scorer as well as a regular assist provider. Now let's analyze his play style and roles under Spalletti. You can see how he started getting the best out of his pace and using that to help the team and create better chances. His on and off the ball movement improved a lot under Spalletti. That was something that Salah started in Fiorentina, but the amount of spaces he creates and exploits under Spalletti was something else. When he gained full confidence, he often went for new finishing techniques, something he was definitely lacking before.
He started getting more time on the ball and was often controlling the rhythm of the team. You can see how he combined his defensive awareness, pace, vision and passing to score this goal. Another thing that he worked on is improving his first touches. The long finish shots became his trademark as he became very confident while shooting them. Notice how he always tried to create passing options and run into spaces without the ball. So as a conclusion to his career at Roma, Salah played a total of 83 matches with the club. He scored 34 goals and assisted 22. He played as a right winger during all the matches except for a few where he played as an attacking midfielder. He upgraded his level and became one of the best in the league. During his first season, he was the top scorer of the club with 14 goals and the second assist provider with 6 assists. In the next season, he was the second goal scorer with 15 goals and the first assist provider with 13 assists. On the 22nd of June 2017, Salah agreed a transfer to Liverpool. Nobody expected Salah to be what he is now at Liverpool. Salah moved from being one of the best players in the Serie A to one of the best players in the world. His transformation under club was outstanding. Club made Salah a top tier goal scorer and a world class player. In his first 10 league games with Liverpool, Salah scored 5 goals and assisted 3. He was able to keep the good form running to finish his debut season in the Premier League with 32 goals and 10 assists in 36 appearances. He won the Golden Boot and was named as the best player in the league. He was also the third best player in the world according to the best awards in 2018. Salah became a complete player and his weaknesses started disappearing. Although people might still argue that he is very weak with his weak foot, he showed great improvements with that. Well, to talk in details, Salah scored 12 goals in all competitions with al All of the 12 goals were with his left foot. With Roma, in two seasons, out of his 29 league goals, 6 only were with his right foot. Moving to Liverpool, Salah scored 5 goals in the league with his right foot in his debut season. In the second season, he scored 4 goals, and in this season, after 9 games only, he scored 2 goals. So you can see how he clearly improved with his weak foot. Something that he needs to be working on is improving his finishing. Although he is really calm with the 1v1 and stuff as we previously saw, the stats say that he misses a lot of easy chances on goal. For example, although he scored 32 goals in his debut season, he still missed 23 big chances. In the next season, he scored 22 and missed 16. So that's something that Salah needs to be working on for sure. Other than that, let's check the traits that he added to his playstyle in Liverpool. Salah started playing a lot of back heel passes and started showboating during the 18-19 season. Salah also improved his dribbling abilities when he joined Liverpool. He does a lot of body fence and fake shots that allow him to keep the ball under pressure. Most of you guys know Salah's roles and tactical profile with Liverpool now. So I don't see any point of analyzing it in this video, as the video is already really long. I can do this in a separate video if you guys want. Anyway, we are back to the conclusion section. Salah played a total of 128 matches with Liverpool in all competitions until now. He scored 84 goals and assisted 36 times. After joining Liverpool, Salah won the African Ballon d'Or two times in a row. He won the best player of the league after his debut season. He won his very first Champions League trophy and followed it with the European Super Cup. He also won the Golden Boot of his first two seasons and won the Club World Cup trophy lately. So, there it is guys. The tactical evolution of Mohamed Salah. This video took me more than 20 hours to be done. So if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like will be appreciated. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and comment below about the player you would like me to do next. Thanks for watching.